Okay, tonight we have, oh, a shaky table. Uh, we have this new Andy Fraser IT MacBook, a MacBook Pro, regular MacBook from 2009, late 2009. This was from eBay in the spares or repair section because it wasn't shutting down very nice. Doesn't look too pretty on the front, there's a lot of weird marks on it and stuff and on the bottom it's a bit of a hazard for the table because it doesn't have these models had the, like a big rubber coat and oh, it's got some chocolate these models had a big rubber pad on the bottom here but this one doesn't there was a problem with them they, they came off and there was a replacement program which apple put on but it was only good for four years after you bought the thing obviously it's longer than that for even the newest one this is the old affit macbook pro Previously, G4 Mobile MacBook Pro, which now my wife uses. That's why it's got these lovely stickers on it of dogs and love and such like. Wonderful. So what we're going to do tonight is upgrade this bad boy with an SSD because it is like it's not bad if you're doing just like browsing and you've got some time. It's actually not bad, but it's you know it's not fantastic. So we're going to put an SSD in it. It's got a 250 gig hard drive in it just now, but I don't need all that space, so getting short of that, put the SSD in it for a maximum speed. One of the things I have been doing is I've been editing a video on this video of upgrading a 2010 iMac. I managed to get the video done, but it was a bit painful. Compared to like the new iMac that I've got upstairs, this one was just a bit painful to navigate around. Importing other pictures. I had this guy out to try and do a time machine backup before I started here tonight but well, it was taking ages I left it for about an hour and it had done 3 gig and then also I realised that it was I wanted to back up 170 gig but there's only going to be 120 gig on the new hard drive so it's just not worth it I'll just when I get the hard drive out of this I'll just plug it into this guy here and then I'll take off the movie file that I was editing and everything else was synced to the cloud anyway so good so we can get started I suppose we should shut it down first I guess Buckle up and go get a cup of tea or something while we wait for this bud. Oh, I need to get the hard drive as well. There you go. In fact, we're going to do a startup test, so we'll do that as well. I need to see how, how much faster it was. Two minutes. So this is what's going on it. The Ionic 120 gigabyte SATA 3. Let's get on with this. I've never opened one of these before. Never, I've never owned one of these before. I've never even, let's see what the doings are inside. So these screws all stick out a wee bit. I'll bring it this way so you can see. I don't know how good the focus is going to be because it was going a bit mental. We put the stabilizer on for, Allah. There we go. Wonderful. You see? Yes. Right, take these screws out. The big reveal. What is this stuck on or something? Oh, oof. Right, there we go. So, what we got in here? Looks like every other MacBook you've ever seen inside. CD drive, fan, logic board, RAM. This is the boy we're interested in. Can we get him out? I don't think so, I think we need to, these plugs here, this isn't the best view for you, there you go, can you see that, is that clear, there we go, right, so we need to get this out, but I think we're going to have to take the battery out, we'll just unplug the battery, anyway, so the battery just is a plug in here, there we go, unplug the battery, and then we'll take these screws out at the back, oh wait there, what kind of screws are they, three, try, try, um, you know, try and get it out with a regular screwdriver, and it's not going to work because you need the other one. This one. Try winged screwdriver piece bit. If you're in that sort of mood. Unscrew that. You can get by these without a try wing bit. You just have to mash a regular screwdriver in there. Big sticker here saying do not remove the battery. I'm going to take this bit off. And the battery removed. It's just a little what it's got like sand in it on it and stuff. Gross. Look at that. Put that on the floor. Get that with a hoover later. Now we need to get this out and these screws will need to come out because they're like a little bracket there. This is more difficult so far than getting the the hard drive out of a, out of the older one. 
because the older one was just a little flap that you lift up. I don't know if I've got a video showing that. And there's your... Actually, we could have done this without taking the battery out. Anyway, it was good to see the battery coming out. This old coffee pot. Save you for later. Open up this lad. 40 quid, this one. I was a bit sceptical whether a, a new sort of SSD would work. I bought a... I can't remember what kind it was. A well-known maker of things, but not necessarily hard to SSDs. I bought one before and it didn't work in an older older MacBook. So let's see how we get on with this. Let's screw this little bracket back in here. The battery which was removed unnecessarily. <laughs> When it failed on the other MacBook that I did, which was an older one with a newer SSD style, it uh, kind of got halfway through the installation and then it failed. Like it never, it just never went anywhere. And I was thinking maybe there was something else wrong with it, but I got swapped out for for another SSD and it worked a charm. How's that for filthy hockey? So I looked online and stuff to see if you can get like a new bottom for it with a rubber pad intact, but didn't look like it. I did find some on AliExpress, but they wanted like forty dollars for it. Oh, we never done a startup test. Whatever. It took ages. Let's see. Obviously, I'm too excited. Too excited to do that tonight, guys. Can I focus here, pal? Right, switch it on. Ta-da! Yeah, that's right. Because there's nothing on that hard drive. Start it with finger on ALT to prompt it to go for the alternative boot. Remember, we just spoke about in the other video. That went there. Install Mac OS Sierra. You've noticed no other hard drive showed up there because it's not initialized yet. <laughs> utilities disk utility first we should have two discs this one and the new one and we've got some disk images here this is the new one not initialized so you can see there's no um, partition yet like this it's got the disk and then the partition of which there is one so if we hit erase and then we're going to call it Mac we've got keyboard here no keyboard Got mouse but no keyboard. Got nothing actually. There is. This is interesting. No keyboard. No keyboard. What? How is that any good? Do we want to just go with it being called untitled and let it install and see if the keyboard works after? Very strange. Never seen that. Right, let's just go with untitled then. I don't think we have to type anything until it's installed. Operation successful. Now we've got one a bit called Untitled, which is uh, excellent. Right, so we're not restoring from Time Machine backup. We don't need to get help online yet, apart from the fact that the keyboard's not working, but we're not going to be able to type that, are we? Continue to install macOS. I don't know if it had Sierra on it before. I might have had El Capitan. Right, here we go. <laughs> Just in time for this to pop up. The installer payload failed signature check. Okay. Okay, so what I've done now is I've booted the Mac from uh, this hard drive, which is the one that came in it over with it plugged in on USB. And then I'm going to, well, it should already have Sierra in the applications folder, so I'm going to just use that installer to install Sierra onto the SSD, which is in here, which is that one, I guess. Anyway, it's going to be horrendously slow. It was already slow. Oh, it's not here. Did it clean up after itself or something? So I have to download it then. It's turned into an absolute saga, this. It's 
went to sleep, so maybe I finished downloading. Uh, you don't see that very often. Right, oh, it's here. Good. Right, click that. This should be fine then. Show all the discs. I want this one. The smaller one. Right, we'll leave it to it. So it went all black again, I don't know if you've seen it because you probably fell asleep. But anyway, uh, it went all black again, when I came back there was nothing on the screen. The hard drive would stop flicking away so I've restarted it and done the alt and it's come up with this macOS installer so let's see how we get on with that. So it should be loading it right off the USB now because it would have loaded all the installer files on it. Let's see. <laughs> It's working. Full keyboard functionality also. Don't transfer anything. Yes, enable location services. I need to do that later. Oh no, well maybe we can do it now. Oh, and now we're on Siri, so I don't even have to... Eh, uh, not Siri, Sierra. So I don't even have to do an update. Now, timer for how long it takes to start up. The screen's a bit grubby. Three, two, one, go. It's looking speedy. Until the dock appears. I think I can, I think I can, come on, get move on. Oh, 34 seconds to get to there. Right, <coughs> now, we'll just continue this. So that's 40 seconds, well, that's a lot a lot quicker than what it used to be. So there you go, that video was about uh, 3 hours, maybe 4 hours to make that video, but now we're done. Good, thanks for watching, see you next time.